Okay, so filtering noise, adapting, sounds useful. But how does it actually do that? You hear about estimating the state of a system. What does that mean in terms of, say, NQ futures prices? Think of it like your phone's GPS trying to figure out where you are. It gets noisy signals, right? But it also uses your past movement, your speed, its internal model of how things move. Right. It combines the messy real-world data with a prediction. Precisely. The Kalman filter does something similar for price. It takes the observed closing price, that's the messy data, and combines it with a model of how price and its trend are likely to behave. And it keeps updating its best guess with every new price bar. So the state it's trying to nail down is both the current price and the trend, the direction it's moving. Exactly. Price and trend. And it uses a few key parts. There's a model for how price and trend usually change from one minute to the next, like new price equals old price plus trend. That's the state transition. Okay. Then there's the measurement part, basically acknowledging the closing price we see is our main clue to the true price. And then these covariances, process noise, measurement noise, sounds like how much it trusts its own model versus the actual price it sees. You got it. Especially that measurement noise, often called R. That's key. Think of R as how much the filter thinks the incoming price data might just be random noise. So a low R means the filter really trusts the price data. It reacts fast to every little wiggle. Good for catching quick moves maybe, but you might get faked out a lot. The line would look really choppy. Jumpy, reactive. Right. Now, a high R means the filter is skeptical about the price data. It thinks it's noisy. So it leans more on its internal trend model. That gives you a much smoother output. But potentially slower to react. It might lag. Exactly. It could miss the turn because it's smoothing things out so much. Finding that sweet spot for R is pretty important. Okay, that makes sense. So this strategy uses two Kalman filters. One fast with a low R and one slow with a high R. Yes. And that leads directly to this QT indicator, the quantitativo trend indicator. 